Hello family, Sir here. In this video, we are going to talk about the just announced, just yesterday evening, announced CDC eviction moratorium and how is it extended. We're also going to touch on who I believe is to blame for this and what I foresee happening in the future and what this means for renters and landlords alike. Stick around because we are about to get into it. To those of you who are new to the channel, I am Sir Ashley, a licensed realtor in North Carolina and South Carolina, and I am a real estate investor. And on this channel, we talk about money, real estate, and in some videos, we get into particulars about North and South Carolina. So if you're interested in money, real estate, or want to learn about either of the Carolinas, please feel free, join the family, subscribe to the channel, and click on that bell icon so you can be notified when we drop new videos. Now let's talk about the topic at hand. The CDC just extended the eviction moratorium. Now the eviction moratorium was set to expire July 1st, then it got extended to July 31st, and then it ended. And now the CDC has issued another eviction moratorium that goes through October 3rd. Now I personally have mixed feelings about this new CDC eviction moratorium. Uh, Different parts of me feel different ways. Again, I am a realtor, an investor. Now, one thing I am not wavering about is that I believe there's enough blame to go around to why I believe the CDC had or felt they had to extend this eviction moratorium. And before we get into the impact of this eviction moratorium, let's talk about who I believe is to blame for this. For starters, I believe blame is due to the local governments. Uh, the federal government has issued billions upon billions of dollars in federal relief and stimulus packages to aid landlords and tenants in this process. Now, those billions of dollars were going to the states, and it was up to the states to implement programs and policies and systems to get that money from the federal government into the hands of the landlords to avoid tenants from being evicted. Well, as of yesterday, over 40 billion dollars of this fund has not been allocated or has not been given to landlords to help the people who was intended to help. So I blame local governments, the red tape and the bureaucracy of government for not helping those people in need in a timely and orderly fashion. Now, first I blame local government. And secondly, I like to blame federal government and just government in general for politicizing science. And in particular, wearing masks and being vaccinated. For years, if not generations, for certain illnesses, we've been vaccinated. Starting from birth, infants have been vaccinated for hepatitis, tetanus. You have toddlers and people before they go to school get vaccinated for chicken pox. But now being vaccinated has become a lightning rod. And I blame politics for that. So yes, I blame local government. I blame the federal government but I also blame society. I blame people for not listening to the science. Yes, I understand that people in our society have every reason to be leery of doctors and science and feel like they're being used as guinea pigs. Trust me, I'm a black man in America who loves history. I know that certain swaths of our society have every reason to be leery of vaccinations and doctors wanting to perform medical procedures or experiments on them, I get it. But look, I live in the South and for the last 16 to 18 months, I can personally attest that people here have been doing whatever they want. They haven't listened to any mask mandates. They didn't heed the urgings regarding vaccinations. And now you have this new variant ripping through society and our country and you see a rise in people being hospitalized as well as dying from the disease. So I blame people for not doing what's necessary so we can put this behind us. Now I told you earlier that I was conflicted and had mixed feelings regarding this new CDC eviction moratorium and the extension through October 3rd. And the reason why I have mixed feelings about this is because on one hand, I know there's people that need help and I know they did everything in their power to get the necessary help. And I believe those people need assistance, truly need assistance. And I believe it will be wrong for us as a society to not honor what we said we would do for them, which was to give them assistance and to allow them to not be evicted. On the flip side, I'm wondering where does this end? 
the eviction moratorium was set to expire July 1st, then July 31st, and now October 3rd. And in all reality, I don't think it will end October 3rd. I think it'll just keep getting pushed on and on and on. And the reason why I believe it'll keep getting pushed on and on and on is because I don't see us as a society doing what is necessary to put this whole ordeal behind us. Because come October, not only will we be dealing with these present challenges, we will be dealing with new challenges that we haven't foreseen. We, as Americans right now, we're soft and we don't like to be inconvenienced. We need to take responsibility for our own actions and do what is necessary. Might not be what we like or what we want, but do what is necessary so we can end this chapter, this awful chapter. And on top of that, to make sure that the local leaders, not just the national politics, but our local leaders are held accountable to allow the funds to get delivered to who they're designed to help. So regardless of how you feel regarding this CDC eviction moratorium and the extension, I leave you with this. Are you doing what is necessary for us to put this chapter of history behind us? And if you are doing what is necessary, have you had a conversation to check on your neighbor to see if your neighbor is doing what is necessary so we can end this? Yes, we're going to have to get uncomfortable. We may have to have some uncomfortable conversations, but I believe that's our only way through this. I know this video was a little different than others in the past. Thank you for watching. I'm Sir Ashley. Talk soon.